Hello and welcome to another brand new course by Procademy Classes. In this course, we are going to learn all about Nest.js framework, a JavaScript framework which is used to build server-side application using TypeScript as the programming language. Nest.js is a progressive Node.js framework that builds efficient, reliable, and scalable server-side application. It leverages TypeScript, a superset of JavaScript, to enhance code quality and maintainability and by adopting a modular architecture and adhering to solid principles, Nest.js provides a robust foundation for developing complex server-side applications. In this course, we are going to cover topics like modules, controllers, services, routing, authentication and authorization, pipes and validations, working with databases, exception handling, guards and decorators, file uploads, unit testing, into in testing and many more things. So this course is going to be a complete Nest.js course covering all the topics related to Nest.js framework. And as I mentioned earlier, Nest.js is a JavaScript framework used for building server-side applications. And Nest.js is built on top of Node.js and it uses TypeScript as a programming language. Now, Nest.js is a bit complex to get started with because it uses modular architecture and it involves using boilerplate code at multiple places. But you don't need to worry because I have structured this course in such a way so that we can focus on the fundamentals of Nest.js in the initial sections of this course, which will give you a deeper understanding of how this Nest.js framework works behind the scenes. And then we can focus on other important features of Nest.js framework. In this course, in order to learn Nest.js, we are going to use Nest.js to build a real-world REST API application. Now, when we create a server-side application like REST API, it usually involves a database for storing the data. So in this course, you will learn how to connect your Nest.js application with MongoDB database as well as PostgreSQL database and how to perform CRUD operation on these databases from your Nest.js application. All right, now, before you proceed with this course, I would like to let you know that this course is not for complete beginners. This course is suitable for developers who already have some prior knowledge on following topics. So to take this course, first of all, you need to have a basic knowledge of Node.js and Express, because as I mentioned earlier, Nest.js framework is built on top of Node.js and Express. So in order to learn Nest.js, you should have a basic understanding of Node.js framework as well as Express. Then you should also have a basic knowledge of TypeScript programming language because in Nest.js, we are going to use TypeScript as a programming language. So in this course, I'm not going to talk about Node.js and Express features as well as I'm not going to explain the concepts of TypeScript programming language that you should have a basic understanding in order to take this course. And also, I already have courses on Node.js and Express as well as TypeScript programming language on my YouTube channel. So if you want to learn Node.js and Express as well as TypeScript, you can go ahead and you can check out those courses. All these courses are absolutely free and they are available on this YouTube channel. Then. In this course, we are also going to connect to MongoDB database as well as PostgreSQL database from our Nest.js application. So having a basic understanding of MongoDB as well as PostgreSQL is an advantage to take this course. Then since we are going to build a REST API application using Nest.js framework in this course, if you have a basic knowledge of how REST API works and what are its features, then that will be an added advantage to take this course. And finally, the basic knowledge of NPM CLI as well as NPM repository is required because using NPM CLI, we are going to install some third party libraries in our Nest.js project from NPM repository. So having a basic knowledge of NPM CLI commands like NPM install, NPM uninstall, etc. will be an added advantage. And from the NPM repository, we are going to install the third party libraries using NPM CLI. So most of the topics mentioned here, I have already covered them on my channel. So you will find a separate course for Node.js and Express. I have a separate course for TypeScript programming language, and I also have a course on MongoDB. 
So if you want to learn about them, you can check out those courses as well. Now, after completing this course, you will have an in-depth knowledge of what is Nest.js and all its basic and advanced features. And you'll be able to create, develop and deploy server-side application created using Nest.js framework. In this course, we are not going to create a fully fledged web application. Instead, we are going to create a simple REST API application to learn and understand different aspects of this beautiful server-side JavaScript framework. Hope you will find this course helpful and suitable for your project needs. With that, let's jump directly to the very first lecture of this course and let's learn what is Nest.js framework.